Hello and welcome to part two of my tutorial video. That's right, I decided to go ahead and do a part two. However, I restarted because I decided if I'm gonna do this, I wanna like the colors of the dinos I'm getting. So I got two Styracosauruses on day two, so I got them at the same time. We have Neptune and Venus. They are both uh, helpers by day five because like I said in the first video, um, you wanna get their green ring around their little heart to a maximum of 100% uh, every day for three days. So I have done a lot of quests. I've done 32 quests in five in-game days, which is quite a few. Uh, I have quite a bit of money now, which is great. Uh, almost to 3,500 shells or whatever they're called. But um, yeah, so day two, I got two Styracosauruses and one Ankylosaurus, which is this beautiful little brown girl over here. I named her Mocha. So I got all three of them on the same day, did the same exact process I said to do in um, the first video, which is take them for walks, feed them their favorite snack or at least their favorite flavor, give them their pop -it, preferred poppin, give them pet pets and make sure their, uh, their pen is clean and ta-da! They were at max happiness at the end of each day for three days. Now they are helpers on day five, which is the earliest you can get it done. Huzzah. But yeah, so one Ankylosaurus, two Styracosaurus. We are ready to begin cleaning the ranch. First, we need to water the crops. And actually, before I start cleaning the ranch, I want to go out into the, the valley and open all the different blocked areas that I need to open. So I'm going to do that first. Gotta keep their pen clean. There we go. All right, lucky. We are going to get rid of some of this debris because I need to sell it. Always good to have stuff to sell. And then we will get started. All right, we have been making our way around the valley destroying the boulders blocking the way to the packies, destroying the boulders blocking the way to the triceratopses. We're gonna break the boulder to Dapplewood real quick. Neptune, you still have stamina left. Let's go Neptune. I decided to name them after planets. So we have Neptune and Venus. And then my brown Anki, who is a rare color called coffee, I named her Mocha and she's beautiful. She looks delicious like a chocolate Anki. All right, we've cleared the boulder. We need to clear the log that's not far away from here because that's blocking the way to a dreamstone. So, come on, Mocha, it's your turn to shine. I probably should have tamed a Wurho Woohoo first. All right, time to get our earthy poppin. So the earliest you can get the new a new type of poppin is day five, and. You have to have, if you want earthy, you need to have like dandelions or clovers or potatoes. If you want fragrance, fragrant, you can also use dandelions or clovers. If you want spicy, you need spring onions. And it just depends on what dino you want to befriend next. I want to do a Wurho little stego sore, uh, so I'm going to do earthy with potatoes. I need to buy some more juicies because... They restore stamina on your dinos, so I plan to do a lot of clearing on the ranch, which means I'm going to be restoring their stamina quite a bit. All right, hello, hello. Yes, do quests, that's how you make money. It's all about the quests. And you especially want pumpkins, I think turnips and watermelons. All right, so we're getting ourselves a Wurho source. I'm getting it on day five, the earliest you can get it because we want to get it as soon as we can so we can start clearing more on the ranch. We're going to name this one... Do you think this is a Saturn or a Jupiter? Eh, yeah, we're going to name it Jupiter. Because Saturn's more of a yellow colors and Jupiter has more red. So this is Jupiter now. We have Venus, Neptune, and Jupiter. Okay. So now, just like with the other dinos, you want to feed it its favorite poppin. Feed it its favorite flavor or favorite food, if you can find its favorite food. Play it its friend's song, take it for walks, keep its pen clean. And in three days, it should be a helper. It is not three days for every dino, but it is three days for the Wurho, Styraco, and the uh, Anki. 
I think Triceratops and Pecky are like five days or four, four or five days. They take longer, I know that. All right, I need to meet the guy at the windmill. And he's not here. Oh, it just turned evening. He, yep, he spawned. He's up there now. All right, turn or about face, turn around, let's go. Oh, look, there he is. He must have, he must have snuck past me on the road or something. Oh. You sneaky Barlow. All right, I should have enough stuff to repair this windmill immediately because I came prepared. Fix it all up, nice. All right, that's done. We're going to document it. And I missed this in my other save and I need to come back and get it in my other save is this uh, little tablet that's hiding behind it. I missed that in the other, in my, in my save with my albino woohoo. Warho? I don't know how to pronounce it. I should learn how to pronounce it, but you know what? I am happy just calling them woohoos. All right, you know what? While I'm here, I'm going to document one of these guys for my journal because I haven't done that yet. Yoo-hoo! Oh, yoo-hoo! Okay, we are slowly making progress on the farm. Now remember, you can go until 2 a.m. every night in-game before you're forced to stop. So, I mean, just because it gets dark... That doesn't mean you have to s stop, you know? You can go for quite a while once it gets dark and just keep working. All right, this is going to be Saturn or Jupiter's pen. Put a thing there. I should have uh, befriended Jupiter a lot earlier in the day. Um, but it's okay because I think we could still get him to 100% happiness before... Oh, we found his favorite snack. Excellent. It's an easy to get one, too. Alright, he's not maximum happy, but if we give him his favorite poppin', that should help him get to maximum happy. Ah, uh, he's still not there, but whatever. You're close enough. Alright. I'm gonna keep doing some more clearing on the ranch, and then sleep through the night. Begin the next day. The next day, I intend to only clear the ranch and do... I'm going to go to town, see what's on the quest board, and then, um, you know, clear the ranch. That's going to be the main thing I do now for the rest of the in-game days is work on making my ranch the best it can be. All right, we can fix this messed up fence here now. There we go. We can, oh, we cannot fix that messed up fence over here yet because we haven't broken the rock. And I think you both are out of stamina now, aren't you? Yep, you're, you're out of stamina. And... And you're out of stamina. So I can't break that rock today and I'm not wasting a pop in on that. All right, so I just decided to speed through this. Um, I, I decided to start clearing the log section, but I'm like, I'm gonna just record it, fast forward the video and then uh, edit over it with me talking. So the main part of the rest of my in-game days is going to be clearing the ranch and building pens. And as you can see, it's a lot of just breaking things, feeding a pop into restore stamina, breaking more things. All right, so look, this is why you want pumpkins. Eight pumpkins, 3,200. But here's a secret, um, watermelons are worth even more than that. Watermelons are ridiculously pricey and valuable to sell. So you want pumpkins, you want watermelons, and actually turnips sell pretty good too. All right, let's see what else is there. Stop pushing me. I'm going to take the hat. Um, I'll take that. Uh, that doesn't seem worth it. All right, I'm just going to take those two. As it gets later in the uh, in in the demo, I don't tend to take the time-consuming quests unless the rewards are worth it, um, because I'd rather get stuff done on my ranch, and I can't do that if I'm constantly running all over the valley doing quests. And so the rewards have to be—I have to deem the rewards worth it for me to do start doing quests as the as the demo days go on. Now, once the live game is out, I'm sure they'll change because you're not on a time limit. You can do whatever you want, but when I'm on a time limit and I only have 14 in-game days... Oh, there is a lost item here in the plaza. Might as well find that. Sometimes it's in front of the sign. So it is randomized where it appears, but there are just like set locations where it can appear. And it looks like this location is here. 
Easy peasy, pumpkin breezy. Yeah, it is randomized. However, the... Oh, and Owen, you're already in town. It, it's even easier. Okay, then. Back to clearing the ranch. Alright, so I'm getting more pens built. So, here's a hint. Um, so, the debris can spawn randomly on your ranch. So, you might clear an area, and then more will appear. Um, but if you ha build pens, it won't appear anymore. But also, I just kind of like to build pens because it looks very orderly. But right now, we're actually building our dinos their brand new homes. So these aren't going to be spare pens that I'm building. I'm building them their actual houses. All right, Jupiter. Come. Come, Jupiter. This way. Follow. I'm going to take your trough. I'm going to take your dreamstone. Come, Jupiter. I need to get Neptune and uh, Venus. Come on. Follow, follow, follow. And you follow, follow, follow. And I'm going to take your dream stones. And I'm going to take your trough. However, I'm going to put this trough back in because I don't need it. All right. We're going to get unlucky. Get on lucky, get on lucky. There we go. All right, come on, guys, to your new homes. And we'll move Mocha next, but I can only have three things follow me right now. All right, here is your new home. Get rid of that. All right, everyone gets a dreamstone. Dreamstone for everybody. Oop, wrong spot. Dang it. Pick that back up. Pick it up. There you go. All right, one there. One there. There. Three dreamstones for all of you. And Lucky, this is your home now. Neptune, this is your home. No, not Jupiter. Lucky, why did you push Jupiter? Neptune, this is your home. Venus, this is your home. Alright, Jupiter, come over here. This is not your home, Jupiter. Your home's over here, okay? Come here. Jupiter, why aren't you following me? OMG. Jupiter. You are not as good as Cal. I miss my albino woohoo. I miss Cal. I wish I had him. But odds are I'm never going to find one of those in this save. That's why the other save is still better. I'm actually making more better progress in this save than I did in my keeper save. But my keeper save has my albino woohoo. And he's my darling boy, so... Oh well. And I mean, once the game comes out, I can fix up my other save to be on the level of this one. Okie dokie. I am making progress. I mean, once once you get the hang of things, it can go pretty quick. You can start earning money a lot. Uh, especially if you pick and choose what quests you do. I mean, you don't want to do quests that waste your time. You want to do quests that are worth the effort. Come. Come, Mocha, come this way. There we go. And like, once you get enough dinos and you can bef if you can get them to helper and saddled early enough, you can you can make a lot of progress clearing your ranch out. And like I said, the main way to do that is just do all those different steps every day until the green ring around their heart is maximum every for three days. And it ch it's it varies based on the dinos, but. You know, for these beginner dinos at the start of the de at the start of the demo, they take three days. Why is Jupiter not happy? Jupiter, you were like full happiness. Why are you not full happiness now? What's wrong? Oh, you don't have a dreamstone. I did not get your dreamstone. I did not put it down. Hold on. All right, I'll give you a place to sleep. There you go. All right, you should be full happiness now. Okay, we'll give you two because I'm probably gonna get you a buddy at some point. All right, are you happy now? Yes, full happiness. This will be your second day of full happiness. Perfect. All right, everyone's in their new homes. We'll start the farm tomorrow and continue cleaning. Uh, actually, do you have stamina? You do have stamina. I'm gonna do the farm now. So just like my other save that I did, um, I'm gonna build the farm right in the middle of all the pens. That way it's easy for the farm dinos to jump out of their pen do their job, and then go right back in their pen. No no unnecessary time-wasting running around from 
one side of the ranch to the other, you know? There we go, perfect. We're we gonna do, uh, should we do five rows of five? That's, you know, maybe. Oh, I missed it. It's a little hard to get him lined up for the, uh, I guess Venus isn't a him, Venus is a her, but still, it's, it's whatever. All right, go, there we go. Uh, probably five rows of five, I think. And remember, you can work late into the night. Like, just because it turns nighttime, you do not have to go to your ranch and go to sleep. You can, you can keep working until the game makes you stop, or until you've completed what you were wanting to do. Alright, you have a little bit of stamina left. We might as well get rid, rid of some of these rocks out here. Why not? Making good progress, though. Okay, Jupiter is now a helper. We can now saddle Jupiter and start clearing the shrubbery out. It is now day eight, three days after I got Jupiter, because I managed to get him uh, maximum happiness every day. So, yeah, the earliest you can get Enki and Styraco to helper is day five. The earliest you can get a Woohoo to helper is day eight, because it's always three days for those specific dinos. But, I mean, if you do it right, you can have them help her on those days. And with the use of poppins to restore stamina, you can get a lot taken care of and done. Um, we bought some new crops. I bought strawberries and tomatoes. And I'm going to gradually buy other new new crops to uh, fill out. And we're still we're still working on clearing the farm. Come, wait, get, get over here. So every day is a new day to begin clearing more and more of all this rubbish out from around the ranch. But yeah, just, I mean, my, my demo days are probably not that exciting to watch because it's a lot of just clearing out all this stuff. But people did want to know my process, so that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm letting you know my process. Why can you not get that? Come around. Okay, there you go. Alright, I'm gonna get one of these guys, because this thing's pretty. Here. Have one. And I'm gonna need one later for one of the quests. You have to have one of these, so I might as well get one. And that way I have one when I need it. Uh, we're gonna name you after a planet, too. Uh, you're gonna be Mars. There we go, now we have Mars. Mars, Venus, Neptune, and Jupiter. I have not found a dino that I want to name Saturn yet. Jupiter's the best planet, by the way. I like Jupiter. I was originally coming over here to get dandelions, but I saw that pinky, red, whatever color, coelophysis. I was like, ooh, that's pretty. And I am going to need one, so I might as, well, might as well get it. I have carnivore food now. I have the spare money to be able to afford it. Okay, so I forgot to mention one way to make your dinos happy is to upgrade their biome to their preferred biome or upgrade their pen to their preferred biome so all these beget all these demo dinos like valley so we're gonna upgrade to the dreamstone to valley dreamstones and that will change the pen to valley uh biome which will make the dinos happy ideally you want to do that before they're a helper because it will keep them happier f to become helpers but i'm still gonna give them pens anyways because I like my dinos to be happy, even if they're already helpers. All right, follow. Okay, I need to empty some more stuff out of my inventory. There we go. Um, I need you to follow me. Follow. Follow. So I do a lot of uh, dino musical chairs when I'm clearing my ranch, like, because there's, there's boulders and there's logs and... There's shrubs all mixed together in, like, everywhere, so... Oh, wait, I need I need to clear this shrub real quick. But yeah, I mean, so I tend to take multiple dinos with me around the ranch because I have a lot of work to do, you know? There we go. So just like with the Anki, I decided to do a sped-up version of clearing the boulder side of the ranch. Now, this is an area I didn't actually get to in my other save game that I played. But I've gotten better at doing things faster and more efficiently. So this is actually, this this save is actually better than my other save. 
Other than the fact that I don't have Cal, my albino woohoo. So, other than that, this save is actually going even better. Okay, so, making progress. We need to keep clearing out the back here. Because this, this side is almost entirely done now. So I'm beginning to work on this back side because I have did things even more efficiently this time around than I did in my other save. Mostly because in my other save, I didn't actually really know about the Poppins restoring stamina, and I didn't use it often enough. But now I'm using it, and you can see the progress, the difference it's making in, in progress. Uh, luckily, I have the money to afford to buy Poppins to keep restoring their stamina, so I can keep clearing out more and more of the ranch. But look, it's already looking so much better. I am not looking forward to the hedge maze one, though, because, yeah, it's that one's very chaotic. But I'm going to try and get as far as I can into it on this save, because might as well, right? All right, you need to follow me. You need to come with me so we can keep breaking these rocks. Do, 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 do. We're going to plow some new... Oh, wait, no. Yes. We're gonna plow some new areas for the farm. Ta-da. Because I have some new plants to plant. I have bell peppers. And I have pumpkins. To join my strawberries, beets, and uh, tomatoes. And then I have garlic. Garlic, tomatoes, beets, strawberries. Now bell peppers and pumpkins. I'm planting so many new things. Um, and if I remember correctly, these use the soft fertilizer. The bell peppers do, so I'm going to give them soft fertilizer. If I can click on the right square. There we go. Okay, and I think the pumpkins use firm or sticky, but I only have one sticky fertilizer, so it's not going to go well. Anyways, I think the pens are looking good, so far at least. You, follow me. I need you. Okay. Let's clear this up. Making progress, though. Um, Quite a bit has been cleared out. I've started building pens, as you can see. Uh, pen design might not stay. I might rearrange it once I actually have animals to put into the pens. But right now, things are going pretty good. Now I'm just kind of tidying up the pens themselves. And like I said, th this debris will, will spawn around the ranch, but not in pens. So any place that's a pen will be safe from future clutter. And I'm, I'm they, I feel like I'm doing pretty good on this one. I've definitely progressed farther than I had in my other save. We haven't gotten any new dinos other than Mars, but I mean, we can get new dinos after release. This is all about building an efficient ranch. Which is what I'm trying to help you guys learn how to do. So hopefully this is making sense. I know it's a lot of me just breaking logs and smashing boulders. But that is a lot of getting the branch made efficient. Is getting rid of all that stuff. There we go. Delightful. Looking pretty good though. Gotta get this random log out here. Boom. Gone. See ya. Alright. Need to keep doing this big old pen over here. But we're getting close to the end of this demo, the save, and we're also getting close to finishing the two sections of the ranch, so huzzah! So we're getting close to the end of the demo. We're on day 14. It's already the afternoon. And I've been hard at work clearing this uh, lovely uh, shrub area. The maze hedge is no longer a maze. We are gradually, gradually whittling it down. But I'll probably have to finish it when the game releases. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it before day 14 ends. But still, this is the farthest I've made it, you know? Uh, my one save, I didn't get very far. My YouTube save with the albino woohoo, uh, I got pretty far. I got the log area all cleared out. But in this save, not only did we get the log area cleared out, we got the boulder area cleared out, and we made significant progress on clearing the hedge area. 
So that's the hedge area right there. I'll just give you guys a quick tour. So I've been buying some decorations for the fun of it. So this is the forest region that we haven't seen yet. That is Dapplewood right there. The bushes are bugged. They're not supposed to be white. This is the desert region. Again, there's some bugs. They're not supposed to be white. I've reported both of them. Um, I turned this into two pens because it seemed pretty excessively large. So that's two pens there. There's a little pen here. Then Jup uh, Mars's pen over there. And then we have another Dapplewood uh, pen here. I have no idea what's going in those. And I might, they might not even stay those biomes, but it's just to, just to see. And then, of course, we have our farming section. This is Jupiter's pen. This is Venus and Neptune and Lucky's pen. We have... I'm stuck on something. We have Mocha and her new little friend Uranus, uh, also named after the planet. Um, we do not have a Saturn or a Mercury or a Pluto, if you want to count Pluto, which I do. But I haven't found anyone that matches those yet. Um, we have pens here, a little pen there. The crops need to be watered, actually. We should, we should do that real quick. Mocha, come here. Mocha. Alright, hi. Alright, let's water our crops real quick. But, uh, this save made really good progress, I think. I hope it helps you guys. I really do. Um, I mean, I covered pretty much every step I take. You do a lot of quests from the quest board. The best ways to tame your dinos are to do those steps every single day with them. Um, once you have your dinos tamed, as uh, you can start using them to clear your ranch. You can use poppins to restore stamina so that the why are you not getting that corner? Get that corner. You can use poppins to restore their stamina, so you can work, work, work even more. Um, there you go. Now I need to get the back half. Luckily, this is kind of my Inky's entire job now that all the most of the logs are gone. My tomatoes are getting big. There we go. All right, I'll just use mocha for the rest of it. But yeah, so we have lots of empty pens ready to go. Uh, the boulder area has been completely cleared. Well, other than the debris that has randomly spawned back in. So we've got two pens here. Got a pen here. Got a tiny pen here. I don't know what's going to go in there, but there's a tiny pen. We've got a long pen and a big pen. And then we got this L-shaped long pen and then another L-shaped long pen. So... I don't know what's going to go in those. I don't even know if I'm going to keep it this way. Um, it's kind of crowded looking. I might, um, re you know, I it's hard to tell until I know what dinos I have on what size pens they need. So for now, I've just kind of done this to fill the space up. But, you know, it can all be rearranged once the game is out and I can actually mess around with it. So yeah, we have our interesting Dapplewood biome pens. The desert biome pen. Um, we've discovered all but the demo dino that isn't in the demo. We found quite a few of the plants, quite a few of all the stuff. Uh, I've done 62 complete quests. And, yeah, I feel pretty good about the, the, uh, progress we've made on this one. And like I said, I just, I really hope it helps. I know a lot of you have been asking me, how do I make money? How do you progress so far in the game so fast? And I hope... I hope this helped you guys understand that. But uh, thank you for watching, and I don't, I'll see you guys when the game releases. It's going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to it.